I have just a funny thing to mention. I thought it kind of fit it well. The problem was it kind of curled up, but yeah, I, I thought you actually had to cosplay to go to a convention. And once I tried it, people started saying, oh, I know that guy, I know where you are, can we take pictures with you? And I thought, okay, and I kind of like how that went, so I just, weren't, so I just rolled with it. Actually, I feel a lot more uh, confident in myself, actually. I could do this every day, but I would get funny looks at work. I'm on TV! It doesn't make any sense to me either, don't worry. Okay, dressing up as someone else gave me a chance to open up and make friends with new people. I've been working like basically a full-time job on it for the past two months. post nuclear. Oh my god, it feels so weird! <laughs> Do I look beautiful now? We had a huge fight about the skirt on her Hatsune coat costume. I'm Lily, I'm commonly known as Secret Attire, and I'm a cosplayer. That is something I haven't thought about, having to like put on a bra and then stuff it in order to cosplay a female character. Sort of reversing what I've surgically done. Physically you might have changed, but um, you know, it hasn't really changed how I feel. My name is Lucas, also known as Twin Fools, and I am a cosplayer. Sorry, I saw like a really weird bug and it totally distracted me. Convention. <laughs> it's broke on. I'm not really sure why. I'm just like, don't want to be here. <laughs> my name is Danae. Uh, my alias online is Rifa, and I'm a cosplayer. This big, like, religious experience.